We're here in Jefferson County, Colorado, installing a brand new pipeline system for Denver water. The contractor's digging out the old 42 inch pipe and installing a new 84 inch pipe. This is a major infrastructure project for Denver water. These are large diameter pipes and they take time to install. This project is part of the North System Renewal Program at Denver Water. We're upgrading the infrastructure in the north part of our system. Denver Water needs to do this work because these pipes are reaching the end of their lifespan and we want to get ahead of that and make sure that there are no impacts to the surrounding community. This pipeline is eight and a half miles long, starting from Ralston Reservoir to the Moffitt Treatment Facility. This pipeline runs through Jefferson County, Arvada, Wheat Ridge, and Lakewood. When the infrastructure was first installed, it was in the 1930s, and this whole area was primarily rural and farmland. This project is a challenge because the community has grown up around our infrastructure. We are working with more than 150 commercial residential properties that are going to be impacted by this project. The actual utility easement for Denver water through the residential neighborhood is 80 feet wide, so we have tight restrictions in regards to having to install this pipeline within that 80-foot easement. Communication is really important. That is really the best way we can help people cope with some of these construction impacts. We're trying to reach them as many ways as we can. We've met with people in their homes. We've sent out notices, going to community meetings, wherever we can. Any way we can really to let people know about these so they can plan ahead. The impacts that we generally have the most concern about are noise dust and traffic. To mitigate those, we will only be working during the daytime hours. Traffic control, we will notify people in advance of that so that commuters are aware and we'll have clear detour signs so people will know where to go. We are going to be digging in people's yards, so we do have landscapers on staff that are going to come back out and restore these properties once the work is complete. We began this project in 2017 and our final completion is expected in 2020. At the end of the day, this project is about maintaining our infrastructure so that we can ensure a reliable water supply to over a million customers in the Denver metro area.